Praxis. And Josh and I are back on site today doing some work. Josh has been doing more sanding and I decided to come back up here and work on this wall. I double checked this particular area and there really wasn't much if any slump in this area of the floor. So I figured it'd be fine to kind of start finishing the stud wall here. I got the door roughed out in this area. Uh, this is where you're gonna be going in and out of this room. And uh, I started doing some wall boards. You can see one wall board right along the bottom there and there's another one uh, that's getting set to cut. I'm gonna be doing wall boards on one side of this wall to start and then I'm gonna be putting in the electrical boxes and then I'll be able to access from the back to run all the wires through all these uh, you know, stud walls. Uh, and you know, in that way it'll be a lot easier to do the wiring if I leave this, this side here open. I wanna talk a little bit about how I got the uh, the door kind of set up here. Uh, you know, th these studs, you know, you always want to have them, you know, be vertical, but you know, it really doesn't matter if they're a little bit off here or there other than, you know, aesthetically, although you're never going to see them anyway. Uh, but what is really important is that you have the door really nice and straight and vertical because, you know, you actually have a, a piece of hardware that's going to fit into there. And if it's not straight, if it's a parallelogram, the door's not going to close, uh, you know, securely. So uh, the way that I did that is I decided where I wanted to have the door start here and I wanted it to not go past this area here. So what I did is I just dropped the plumb bomb from here and made sure I had the proper height, six feet, 11 inches for the rough opening of this particular door. And I used a plumb bob to find out exactly where on the floor that was gonna land. Uh, things like this, levels are a really great tool as well. You know, you can put a board down and put the level up next to it and kind of get it side to side, but it's never going to be quite as accurate as having a plumb bob that, you know, is absolutely straight up and down, uh, unless you have some sort of weird gravitational anomaly in the place in which you live. And I'm crossing my fingers that I hope I don't have one of those right here. So uh, I got this established nice and straight, measured uh, two foot, eight and a half inches over to the other side, scribed the line on the floor, and that I, by that I was able to determine where this uh, you know, other side of the door was going to be. Uh, started building the, the wall out there and uh, then got this guy really nice and vertical because this one is important to be vertical, so it's matching this. And the way that I did that is I didn't do another plumb bomb on that, I just did a measurement from across here, two feet, eight and a half inches to get the, the span here. So two foot eight at the bottom, two foot eight at the top, 611 to here, and it's ready to accept the door. So, uh, Things are going pretty well up here. Uh, once I get this wall sheathed, the sheathing is going to kind of try to hold this wall together because it's, you know, there's a lot of rigidity. You know, drywall doesn't have that much kind of shear strength. You know, you put screws in, you could rip it apart. But the wall boards here, they're a very strong stru structural element. So once I get the wall boards attached to this, I can remove all of these little things we've been hitting our heads on the entire time in this area. The rest of the area, I'm gonna to have to leave them up until I do more structural stuff over here. But at least for this one room, we'll be able to remove all these things we've been bumping our heads on. Unfortunately, as soon as I finish the room, there's almost no reason to even be in there anymore. <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll probably be storing some stuff up in here, but uh, you know, it's kind of ironic that once the room is safe for human inhabitants not hitting their heads, we won't be in there uh, it, until the house is done. So that's what I've been working on today. We did receive windows, they showed up you know, on time this morning, uh, which is awesome. And I think I'm gonna be putting in the windows tomorrow. My dad's gonna be here on site with me, put in the last of the windows, and uh, then we'll start heating the place up. That's it, thanks for watching.